Hello people, I'm Mike and in this video we're going to learn how to use the quadratic formula to solve any quadratic equation. Yeah, so in case you're new to my channel, this is Mars with Ike and on this channel it's all about Mars. This is where we make Mars fun and easier for everybody. You don't have to like Mars, okay? But if you come to my channel, even if you hate Mars, you'll be a lover of Mars. You know what it is so if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do that quickly and then hit the bell so that whenever i release a new video you're going to get it and watch okay and you know kill all the mass phobia right away yeah great so without saying much let's go to today's agenda over now if you're to use the quadratic formula to find the root of this quadratic equation how are you going to do that Use the quadratic formula to, to, to solve this very one. What you're going to do? You have to first put down the quadratic formula. And after that, you put in the figures. But the first thing is, do you know the quadratic formula? Now, this is the quadratic formula. So you have minus b plus or minus roots b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay so this is the quadratic formula now when you have your quadratic formula you are going to put in the figures okay you're going to put in the figures now let's do it together so we have x equals now b is negative 4 all right and then a is 3 c is negative 2 yeah good so minus b that is minus 4 so we're going to have minus minus 4 yeah plus or minus then let's come to the root so in the root this is what we have we have b squared now b is minus 4 so minus 4 squared minus 4 now a a is 3 so 3 times c so let me put a point here times c. c is minus 2. Okay? So that's what you're going to have all over 2 times a. a is 3. Alright? So we are doing that. Good, 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 good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on, guys. So s is equal to now minus um, times minus 4 will give you 4 plus or minus. Then we we'll bring our bracket. Minus 4 exponent 2 will give you as 16. Minus 4 times 3 times negative 2 will give you what? That's 4, 3, so um, positive 24, so plus 24. All of uh, 2 times 3 will give us 6. Yeah, so this is x. This is x. So now, this is what we're going to finally get. Okay, so here will be 2, 2. You're going to have 2 plus or minus this one will be 10 all over 3 all right i hope you know why it's like that because here will give us 40 mm -hmm. 16 plus 24 will give you 40 and then root 40 is 2 root 10 okay so 2 over 6 2 cancels itself 1 and then it goes into the 6 3 time that's why i have this one i hope you know why great now when you have this one this is where you're going to find your root okay so let me put a division here so that we'll do the root. Now you have two um, answers here. You have 2 plus root 10 over 3 and then 2 minus root 10 over 3. So the first root of the equation, that is x, will be equal to 2 plus root 10 all over 3. All right? Or x is equal to... 2 minus root 10 over 3. So guys, these are the roots of the equation. Using the quadratic formula to find the um, roots of quadratic equation is very simple. Very simple. This is how you do that. Yeah? So when a question is given to you, you just put down the quadratic equation, and then you're good to go. Very simple. Mm? Great. Let's do another example and see how that one too is going to be. Yeah, so this is going to be our last example for, for today. 
we are to use the quadratic formula to find the root of this quadratic equation. Mm -hmm. So like I said, first quote your quadratic formula. And that is minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. So this is your quadratic formula. All right. Great. Now, what do you do after that? We're going to put in the values. This 5 is a, 10 is b, 3 is c. Okay, so wherever you see b, you put 10. Wherever you see a, you put 5. Wherever you see c, you put 3. Like that. So let's go. x will now be equal to minus b. So that's minus 10 plus or minus then our square root comes b squared, so 10 squared minus 4 in a bracket a. Now a is 5 times c, which is 3, all over 2a. 2 times a, a is 5. Okay, so we have something like that. Let's solve it. We're going to have minus 10 plus or minus um, 10 squared will give us 100. Then um, 4, 5, 23, that is 60. All over 2, 5 is 10. Okay, so now we're moving forward. We're going to have this. Now minus 10 plus or minus, so this one is going to give us um, minus 5, plus or minus root 10 all over 5, okay? Hope you know why it's like that. Minus 10 plus, so this one will give us 40, okay? 40 and 10. And then, like I said in the first example, 40 will give you 2 root 10. So 2 goes in itself 1 and goes here 5 and here to 5, 5, all right? So that's what you're going to have. Now, you're done with the question. What you're going to do is to write the root of the equation. Mm -hmm. So, let's write the root of the equation. We have positive and a negative. So the first one, x is equal to negative 5 plus root 10 all over 5. Yeah? Then second one, x is equal to negative 5 minus root 10 all over 5. So these are the roots of the equation. You can write it in decimal form. Yeah, it's also correct. You can just leave it like that too, depending on, you know, the way you want to submit your work or what the teacher actually wants. This is how you use the quadratic formula to find the root of any quadratic equation. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And like I said, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel and then hit the bell. Right, so that whenever I upload a new video, you're not going to miss out on it. Have a beautiful time. Bye.